Getting ready to buy or sell a home? Do you want to help support pro-life organizations? Then you need Real Estate for Life. Get a top-notch real estate agent and support pro-life causes. Go to realestateforlife.org to learn more. As a sign from God, the saint of the day zealously cultivated the sacred sciences. After his ordination, the zeal of his priestly life soon earned for him the titles of father and angel of his country. At Milan with the holy men, now two holy men, he founded the Society of the Clerks Regular, named after St. Paul, and a society of nuns called the Angelicals. He was zealous also, this is the point we want to unpack today, he was zealous in his adoration of the Holy Eucharist and strongly promoted the public exposition of the most holy sacrament. Enriched by God with heavenly gifts and worn out by his great labors, he contracted a serious illness and he died a most holy death. Today, July 5th, and con was confirmed the cult already paid to him and enrolled in the list of the saints. What can we learn then about this great saint, especially in relation to this adoration? This love of adoration of the saint today, we must imitate him in his love of the blessed sacrament. Saint Teresa of Calcutta, great saint of our time, said, when you look at the crucifix, you understand how much Jesus loved you then. When you look at the sacred host, you understand how much Jesus Christ loves you now. Padre Pio said, we must always have courage and if some spiritual languor or laziness comes upon us, let us run to the feet of Jesus Christ in the blessed sacrament. Lest our, let us place ourselves in the midst of these heavenly perfumes and we will undoubtedly regain our strength. The same Mother Teresa said, I required her sisters to do a daily holy hour that gave them strength and peace to accomplish their extraordinary work amongst the poor of the poor in their vocation as missionaries of charity. She attributed the doubling of vocations to this order to this faithful hour of adoration before the Lord. The great Fulton Sheen began the practice of a daily holy hour when he was a seminarian, and he performed it without fail for 60 years, can we imagine? In his autobiography, Treasure in Clay, he wrote, the holy hour is not a devotion. It is a sharing in the work of redemption. In the garden, our Lord asked, could you not watch one hour with me? He asked for an hour of reparation to combat the hour of evil, an hour of victim union with the cross to overcome the anti-love of sin. Also, another great holy protagonist of our time, Mother Angelica of EWTN, built up this network of television for every using adoration for every hour she was on the TV, she spent an extra hour in adoration. When she was being challenged with great difficulties, the great Saint John Paul II sent her what? He sent her a monstrance. His message was to stay focused on Jesus through adoration and thanksgiving. What about Helena Kolowska, the Secretary of Divine Mercy? She became a nun, took the name St. Faustina of the Blessed Sacrament to highlight the focus of her spirituality. Adoration was indeed her life. One hour spent at the foot of the altar is the greatest dryness of spirit, is dearer to me than a hundred years of worldly pleasures, she said. I prefer to be a lowly drudge in the covenant than a queen in the world. She also wept in front of Jesus Christ in adoration. She shared her joys with him. She acknowledged her weaknesses and she asked for healing 
This is what we have to imitate. She asked for healing, listened to him, thanked and rested in Christ. She immersed herself in the fire of his love and the depths of his divine mercy. It was adoration that called her forth to go out and help others. An adoration that empowered her to share Jesus' compassion for everyone she encountered. As Saint Faustina's soul united with Jesus, the fruit of her adoration was in fact the image of the divine mercy. This is the beautiful lesson today to spend hours in front of Christ in the Blessed Sacrament, pour out your hearts to him and he will be generous to you. May the holy name of Jesus, Mary and Joseph be blessed now and forever. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.